Hello, this is Mr. Erling, and you're watching my Let's Play of the Technic Pack, Episode 6. So in order to use the filler, you need landmarks. Uh, so where I'm standing here is kind of like the level of the floor in my house that I'd like to keep for uh, uh, the level that I'm going to use for, you know, like the rest of my area. And... I'll put landmark here. We'll go this way. Go in about line with the f landmark. Right click it and then you got a nice line there saying this is how far you were. And let's say where's my shovel? about there. Oh, it doesn't line up. Okay, got it. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, actually, uh, I'll take this corner because it's closer to my house. Um, Although, it's like awfully precarious. I'm just going to go over here. You take your... Oh, weird. It's like some chewing noise. You creep me out, little thing. Out of here. Okay, see how the the landmarks have changed to a border. Then you can go back and pick up your markers again. So at least that's useful. Um, should be one more there. What happened here? Oh, that's my staircase. That's never been covered. Okay. So. I need um, two more pieces of glass to outline my filler. Right. Glass. Yes. One more piece of glass. Right on. So the shape that's indicated here tells you that it's going to fill in below this line and remove anything above that line. So that's kind of cool. Um, what I want to do now is supply it with power. So I'll put one of these here. Oh no, wait. Got it levitated on something. And I'm going to need switches for this, which I didn't bring. I'll go get those. So this thing is pretty much ready to go. It's becoming dusk, so I think I might turn this on and leave it for the night. I don't have much in the way of fuel, but Let's give this a shot. And uh, I'm just going to jump into bed and come back to it in the morning. Well, I came out in the morning and I see no change. Um, I don't think whatever I did worked at all. I think mostly because the the construction line that I'm using is only one block high so I don't think the machine knows what to do with that so I'm gonna try placing my landmarks again and see if I can fix the problem 
Here, I just have a little explanation about the landmarks. Uh, the one missing element that I didn't explain was you have the three uh, um, three landmarks. You click, right-click them all, and they become a, a square. You place the last one, and you right-click any of them, and now it becomes a box. So then you place your filler machine, this guy here, um, basically right on the corner and then it will become the construction tape you see there. I hope that it explains that part at least. Uh, I think I got it working now. It's actually digging away under the land here. Then you just gotta make sure it's supplied with uh, a material that it can build with otherwise it won't actually progress. I don't have much fuel left. Oh well. Let's see if I can get some from inside. That's quite a bit of charcoal. I really need to mine some more coal or to uh, do something like that. So here's what it looks like inside. Uh, it's digging at pretty good rate. As the steam engine speeds up it should be able to mine this out really quickly so which is good stuff. I'm quite happy with that. Well, I'm pleased with the progress this is coming along. It's uh, looking really well. Um, it's almost digging out as fast as I could, so that's great. Um, I think what I'm going to do is keep leveling this area. might keep this tree. I kind of like trees. Um, don't really have any plans for back here. This area on the desert is going to be where my cactus farm is. and. We're going to have a peat farm somewhere in the area too. Also, we're going to fill in the low spots here. I got a creeper explosion over there. Lovely bunch of birdies here. I feel like Pac-Man picking up all the stuff. Well, I got a few stacks of dirt now. I got to go back to the mine shaft. Here's two more chests. I'm just going to place them up here for now. All the dirt that comes off of that uh, construction. Okay, I gotta find some quick coal. So back here where my filler is, uh, it can reach everything except for this last little bit of dirt. Um, the sun's just setting, so uh, I'm gonna. Looks like the machine's turned off. It ran out of coal. Just gonna torch this up here. And I might consider moving this uh, soon. I kind of like to like clear part of it out so that I can see the overhang into the uh, into the ravine there. But I'll move that in the morning. Uh, right now, I'm gonna prepare some stuff and then record some okay, more. Okay, what I want to do next is build this back box. So the recipe for that. Uh, is wood, a single copper cable, a few RE batteries, and some wooden planks. So that's fairly easy to make. And right now I am smelting some tin. So I have some tin to use. I'm going to need uh, about 18 of them, plus uh, redstone and a few copper cables. Let's see if I have any of those left over. Which I don't. So I'm going to need some copper too. Let me find some. Okay, I had some copper dust in my other macerator. So I need, need about six of these, I guess, to start. Oh no, three should do it. So I'll go back to the bench here. Six uninsulated cables, put 
that with it and then you get copper cable go to the the bench we'll put our wood down now I need to make the other part which is the uh, battery so I need three RE batteries redstone in the middle and Z copper cable on top Uh, yes, this is not a work project bench. Those are so useful. Three of them. Excellent. And then we place the three batteries in here. And voila, we got a bat box. So we're going to wire this into my... Um, into the generator so that it has more capacity instead of running at full, full load like it is now. Okay, here I busted out the side of my wall and I'm gonna place down my generator like further away so I got room for the batteries. So maybe about there. And put the bat box, uh, I'd say in the space beside it. Now you gotta look for where the hole is. So there's one side with the hole, which is that side. And what I didn't make is a wrench. So I'll do that now, um, which requires bronze, which I don't have. So I'll show you how to make bronze. So you put copper like this and tin like that, and you get bronze dust. So I need exactly about six, but I'm going to make about ten, because I'm going to use these for later anyways. And then you have to smelt this. And... Right now, I don't have my stuff connected, so I'm going to have to move the generator again so I can smelt the bronze. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm going to get that done and then I'll be Okay, right here we are. I have my six pieces of bronze. And let's put that in here and you get the wrench. Alright, with the wrench... Now you take um, this and you click it on the side where you want the machine to face. So now that because the hole is on this side, this is where the power will be output. So put a piece of copper cable there and then one behind there so that I can connect my generator. The generator is out of power right now, so that's good and place it here and now something wonderful happens so you see there's no power level in the bat box and we'll go to the generator and add say like a few pieces of coal fix my sound if anybody else knows how to do that please tell me anyways the power level in the bat box will increase so the amount of capacity in the generator is very small which is like a few pieces of coal maybe one whereas in the bat box you can have uh, probably about 10 pieces of coal worth of power stored up so you don't waste as much and now my other machine should run there you go Awesome. I gotta fix the hole in my house now and be back later. Okay, I'm done making my nice little renovation on the house. Uh, what I've done here is kind of extended the roof and I like glass with my houses, so I put glass down. Uh, it's raining outside. I pretty much turned the sound right off. But awful noise it makes so I'm just gonna sleep through this night and come back ah oh, one item I did forget to make for myself is a bow I have a little bit of flint so um, I'm gonna make that into arrows I might as well well 16 is good enough I don't usually use a long-range weapon too often so um, 
Well, it's backwards. And this way. Alright. So now I have a bow. Yeah, I should probably take some iron and make a chest piece. Oh, it's in here. Fully suited up. Alright. Uh, I'm just in the cave and I'm trying to get some more coal. Zombie wants to play with me. <laughs> it's back at this part where stuff was coming down from above, but I never explored where they were. Very dark and long. That looks like cobblestone over there. Um, need more torches. This is a pretty big coal vein. I found this cave and there's a lot of zombies coming out of it, so I'm going to investigate further. My sword's going to die. Oh. Oh, just what I suspected. It's a zom zombie spawner. I don't have anything selected. Where's my torches? Where are my torches? I could hear that one through the walls, but I didn't know where it was. That's gratifying. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what our loot is. Sulfur. Uh, Minecart. Not really needed. I might come back for this stuff later. Ah, the iron is useful and the bread is useful. Um, I'm just going to put what's left here into the other chest and take it with me there we go and put the sulfur in here I should really take that because it's more useful than the dirt that I have and the water bucket I'll leave a stack of cobblestone behind oh there's iron in there And four string. Mm. I don't really know what cocoa beans are for, so I'm just gonna leave those. All right, I think. Okay, I'm like I'm deep surface. in a cave, and I found a turtle. Not one turtle, several turtles. So I'm just thinking, maybe up in the water here is a a place where it's actually coming from outside. Or maybe it's just a bunch of turtles because there's water. I think that's all it was. Huh. Well, I need more coal, so I'm going to grab this. Well, I think I'm going to cut the episode here. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please rate and subscribe. I'd also like to thank uh, my first couple new uh, subscribers that I have. This being a brand new channel, any help is greatly appreciated. So... I have Kind Nan and also Stylus Redmain, so thank you so much and have yourselves a great day and
This is a spider spawner I found earlier, but I wasn't able to record it. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.